everyone today i'm wearing my most expensive blind buy ever i've already done an unboxing and first impressions of blue lotus from tioni reinthal trnp perfumes based over in australia and i've given it a couple of wearings but today i'm going full on it's called Blue Lotus, I think I just said that. And of course, one of the main notes is Blue Lotus. And if you don't know what Blue Lotus smells like, apparently smells quite similar to Frangipani. So an exotic white floral that's very heady and sweet and a little bit spicy, I guess. I'm gonna do the crooks of my elbow. So that's quite a lot. I've only got 30 mils here. So I'm going to leave it at that. That's enough perfume. I am off to meet my friend Rav. We are going for lunch. We're going for a pub lunch. It's going to be my first restaurant meal since lockdown. So since March, I haven't been in a pub or a restaurant for food. I've been in a pub actually. But haven't been for food yet in a pub or a restaurant. So I'm really excited. I thought I would pull out the big guns and wear something really special. Today is slightly warm. At the moment, we've got a little bit of rain. You can hear it probably. You can hear that pattering on my roof. It's very light. It's not too bad. I'm wearing light clothing. I'm not dungarees. It's actually a dress. Uh, because it is warm enough. So it's like a... A warm spring showery day and blue lotus so there is ylang ylang and the blue lotus i can't remember all the notes but to me it's almost like a pastry uh imagine a custard pastry just a very delectable french cake something quite special it's not full on gourmand, there is vanilla in here, but the vanilla is very, very understated. You don't really smell it as a separate note, it just seems to be blending in with everything. Quite possibly the vanilla will come forward a bit later on anyway, but for now, it reminds me of layers of the finest pastry and yellow vanillic, custard with a sprinkling of spice on top it's really really gorgeous it's quite a subtle scent not to say it's weak or it's too light but it's not a bombastic scent like alien for example it's really really tasty it's got a little bit of a resin as a feel to it almost smoky but not quite if that makes sense so like almost unlit incense it's really yummy and it's almost slightly medicinal slightly menthylated as well it's really beautiful it's giving me a lovely aura and i think it's perfect for celebrating my first day back eating lunch in a restaurant. So I'll come back to you with some more observations in a bit. So we're an hour in. I've just been to a, the shopping mall here. Also, I've done a little bit of shopping before I meet my friend. And I'm in the car park, as you can probably tell. And in terms of the fragrance, I feel like it just leans a tiny bit soapy once it calms down on your skin not to any strong degree but i just get this really clean smooth kind of soapy like feel i can still smell all the other elements but they've all calmed down it's probably leaning a little more perfumey than it is gourmand now so it doesn't quite smell as much of pastries and it smells more of florals it's a fairly light but where I've sprayed little bits all around me, I'm getting nice wafts as I walk around. 
Hi, yeah, so I'm back. It's now over four hours. It's about four hours and 10, 15 minutes into the wearing of Blue Lotus. And I've had a lovely dinner or lunch, we should say, it was lunchtime. Had a really lovely lunch, catch up with my friend and amazing food. Pork belly with some vegetables and that was it actually. I substituted my potato option for extra veg to be good. Absolutely delicious anyway. That's not what you're here for. Blue Lotus. So let's go here. So I don't get loads of development with Blue Lotus. It starts off, let's actually remind myself now, a little tiny spray there, how it starts off. And then I will compare it with what I've got over here. So when you first spray it, wow, it really feels the air. And it's more floral, vibrant, kind of sweet in almost a play-doh way now i forgot to mention everything in here is natural there are no synthetics whatsoever in any of this brand's fragrances lots of things in here are tinctured very very artisan uh, in terms of the ingredients so they're not just necessarily bought in ingredients these are things that the perfumer has hand tinctured or uh, sort of forested I guess herself so that's pretty amazing so when I say there's a note of something similar to play-doh we are not talking really about a synthetic play-doh vanilla but I'm trying to give you a general vibe of how this sort of sweet vanilla thing is coming across and it does remind me a little bit of play-doh just because it's a little bit sweet and it's a little bit fluffy and powdery and there's this tiny hint of something that's slightly medicinal i looked up the notes and there's something called amaris in here and that is actually a piney balsamic note that can be a little bit citrus nuanced so that potentially could help with the what feels a little bit medicinal I guess plus there's also cardamom and cardamom I think can sometimes smell a it's a little bit spicy in a mellow way and it can also give a touch of something medicinal and not only that I think it's a very smooth ingredient and it's not in here with a heavy hand at all but I think it's just bringing those components along with that lovely sort of vanilla-y ambery scent so there's a note of amber so I think it's probably an amber accord in here obviously made of natural resins and vanilla when you first spray it, it is quite a vibrant floral without being sharp it's not screechy sometimes uh, white florals can be quite sharp and they can be i describe it as blousy you know like when someone wears a low cut top and a short skirt sometimes a lot of white florals can have this sort of brassy blousy effect but that's not this so this obviously it's not a white floral it is blue lotus and ylang ylang which is a yellow floral and ylang ylang is a lovely tropical flower that can sometimes smell a touch toward the banana-y side of things but it's very much an exotic, almost spicy floral. But to me, I don't specifically smell ylang ylang. I think I smell the two florals merging together to create a beautiful, smooth, yet exotic, yet spicy, kind of sexy floral. So in the notes, there is also sandalwood 
and whilst I don't pick it out initially I think if you really hunt for it you can find it in there but again everything's all merging together very very nicely blended when you smell the dry down I think you can get a tiny bit more of the sandalwood but I don't know that I would necessarily find it I don't know if I would find it if I wasn't looking for it. So to me, the dry down is more powdery, it's more resin and the florals have, have calmed right down. When I was into the first hour, I got this soapy cleanness and now I feel like it's not quite as soapy as it was. Not that it was ever very soapy, but it kind of, it goes a little towards the soapy side and then it starts to go more powdery, vanilla, amber, muskiness. It's a really, really pretty fragrance. That opening is refreshing in a way. It's not a fresh fragrance. I don't detect any citruses. I don't think there's any citruses listed. It's more, it is a spicy floral, but there's something a little refreshing about it. But it does still make me think of pastry shops. And then in the dry down, it's much calmer, much smoother, softer. In terms of projection now, I'd say it's quite light. It's at no point a beast mode type fragrance, but it has given me nice little wafts throughout the wearing so far. So I'm happy with performance. If you are someone that likes a very strong performer, you might not like this one because as I say, it's not, it's not a beast mode. It's not anywhere near a beast mode. It's average, but it is all natural and you have to give it credit for that. I think this is about the point I might consider reapplying. Yeah, I would say probably now four and a half hours, maybe five hours in, that would be the point for me where I would want to reapply because I do like some presence from my fragrance. If you like soft whispers that you catch sometimes and sometimes you don't. You might be happy for this to do you for the entire working day. I have tested it overnight and still been able to detect it on my skin the next morning. So it definitely does have decent longevity, eight hours plus, but there is a point of course when it does get closer to the skin and I would say that we are about there now. This, I feel, is not doing it any justice, this review. So please note, I've only had the perfume a little while. I've only worn it fully a couple of times. So this is, albeit it's a review, I will probably wear this quite a few more times and maybe revisit this review because there's bound to be nuances that I am not picking up at this time. The longer you have a fragrance, the longer you live with it, the longer you try it, the more you discover about it. And I'm only testing it in one season. So that's my disclaimer. But hopefully it give you enough of an idea about the fragrance for now. You can get samples from the website. You have to buy five at once. And they're quite pricey. They're just under 90 US dollars which is actually the reason why I ended up taking a punt on a blind buy because I didn't actually want five samples. They're generous size samples, they're three millilitres, but I didn't actually have five that I really wanted to test, hence why I, this was the main one I wanted to try. So I took a very dangerous <laughs> chance on a blind buy, but you can get samples and I would always recommend sampling first. That's it. That's my review. Thank you so much for watching. Feel free to like and stuff. See ya.